What's going on guys, Hearing with Hardy Tech, and today I got a very much requested tutorial for you guys, and uh, I'm not very good at tutorials, not really my kind of thing, so I apologize if this sucks, but, you know, I thought I'd give it a go. So, um, a lot of people ask me, how do you get your Pokemon to level 100? How do you use Pokegen? What do you use to make your Pokemon? Blah, 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 blah. I finally decided, you know what, let's just show you guys how it's done. I use Pokemon, Pokegen, Pokemon Generator 3.1.9. Very easy to find, just do a Google search, it's probably like the first link. I'll, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description for you guys to download it. But yeah, so today I'm going to be walking you guys through the process of making a Pokemon and then eventually an entire team and, you know, all that stuff. So, the first thing you're going to need is your SAV file, your SAV file, SAV file, whatever. You can get this off your R4 or your emulator. You should know how to get your SAV file, alright? It's very easy. So what you're going to want to do is go to File, and Open, and then find your SAV file, which I have mine for white here on my desktop. And then you'll see here all the Pokemon you have in all the different boxes and all that. I currently have like four, I think four boxes worth of Pokemon. So yeah, we're going to go make a new Pokemon, so let's go to our first empty space. So you'll see right here, PID. You can just completely ignore this because um, typically, unless you're going for legal Pokemon, you'll need to use the PID, but this isn't like legal, you know, official Pokemon. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put the species of the Pokemon. For this, I'm going to use a Caterpie. So just type it on in there. It doesn't have to be caps. It'll automatically correct it. And yeah, so next you're going to give it its nickname, and let's nickname this Caterpie. Awesome. And uh, this box here, you can check it if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So you, for this experience box, you can ignore this and just type in level 100 because all Pokemon in Wi-Fi battles, unless you're doing y, um, Little Cup, are level 100. Now the nature is one of the important things. Nature is very, very useful, especially in Wi-Fi battles. And it, it can be a little hard to understand times. Uh, you guys should know what natures are by now. If you don't, just go on Bulbapedia and look it up. But here you choose whatever nature you want. I'm just going to leave it as adamant, but you can choose all of these natures. Actually, you know what? We're going with hardy nature, which hardy nature doesn't actually do anything, but it's freaking awesome. So next, you can choose your held item. You can choose from every item in the game, and 99% of these you'll never use. The most common ones are Focus Sash, Life Orb, the Choice Items, um, White Herb, Leftovers is probably the most common item. And that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to put some leftovers. Stupid thing. Leftovers on this Caterpie. Next, for happiness, most of the time you won't need to change this. The only time happiness is ever going to be affected is if you have return on your Pokemon. But you can just put it to 255 anyways, just to do it. Next is ability. So if you don't know what your Pokemon's abilities are, or what abilities they can have, Bulbapedia is very, very useful. I should really know what Caterpie's abilities are, but I'm going, you can actually give it any ability you want, but you're, if you're going to use this in a Wi-Fi battle, you got to have its like legal abilities. You can't give like Caterpie sturdy because it doesn't work that way. And I don't remember what Caterpie's ability is off the top of my head. So um, I'm just going to put Aftermath because Aftermath is an awesome ability. Perform, if your Pokemon can change forms like Deoxys or other Pokemon that change forms, Here's where you choose that. For country, um, this should automatically be selected for like whatever your country your ROM is. But if it's not, just select it. And for origin, just put whatever game you're playing on. This is white, so not Soul Silver. You'll put it on white. For shiny leaf, ignore this. This is only in effect, I think, in black 2 and white 2. And I actually don't know what it, what it does. So down here, you'll pick out what gender it is. Let's make this one a male. You could choose if it was hatched from an egg, which actually I don't really think has any effect at all. And then this little box right here chooses if it's shiny. And then you could choose if it has poker rust, which once again doesn't really have any effect if you're using it for Wi-Fi battling. So let's make this shiny and go on to the next tab, which is Met. So here you'll choose what game you met this Pokemon in. We're going to have it on black and white too. You can choose location. I want to point out location and game, and most of this stuff has absolutely no effect on Wi-Fi battling. The only thing that does is ball. Here's what you choose, what Pokeball it's going to put it, be in, and let's put it in a Master Ball. If you're just using this for Wi-Fi battling, the rest of this does not matter at all, so just ignore this. So next we're going to go on to stats. 
And the first thing you're going to want to do is make all the IVs 31 because that is perfect IVs. It is 100% legal. You know, it's very hard to obtain normally in game, but having perfect IVs is 100% legal and all Pokémon unless they have a special hidden power has perfect IVs. So you might as well. And next are the EVs. If you don't know how EVs work, a Pokémon is allowed to have 510 EVs, the most in um, total. The most you can have in each stat is 252. So let's give this one 252 in attack, uh, 252 in speed, and you'll see you have six left over. Only four of those will actually make a boost, so let's just put four in HP. And now he's maxed out, so that's pretty much how you do that. You guys should know how this stuff works. If not, once again, just look on Bulbapedia or Smogon or, um, uh, you know, there's a lot of websites out there to teach you about EVs and IVs and, um, DVs, I think the last stat is called, so... Finally, we are on to attack. The first thing you want to make sure you do is put the PP ups on three. That way you will have the most amount of PPs you can have. It means if it normally has five, it'll have eight. If it normally has ten, I think it'll have sixteen. Um, something like that. So let's give this cat a piece of moves. You can get it every move in the game, but once again, if you're going to be using it in Wi-Fi battles, it does have to be legal. So you could only give it moves. It can actually win in the game. Whether it be from uh, chain breeding or TMs or HMs or level up or um, you know starting moves, as long as it can learn to move some way in the game, then you can have it. Once again, the best way to do that is to check on Bulbapedia and see if that Pokemon can learn to move somehow. So for Caterpie, let's give it its basic moves, which are String Shot. I think it gets Tackle. I might be wrong there. Uh, Bug Bite and. I should know what is. I don't. I think is that is her first moves. Oh well, we'll just give it hard. So for yeah, and that's um, and the final thing you want to do is find an open space here, right click on the box and click set, and then there you go. You have yourself a little Caterpie, and um, you just go to file, save file, and now this, now you just put this uh, save file back on your R4 or in your battery folder of your emulator or whatever. And you're ready to play just like that. So for all of you asking how I make my Pokemon, how I get them level 100, now you know. If this tutorial helped, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment. Comments are the best. I love comments. Until next time, I'm Honey Tech Yo-Yo.